Hello there and welcome to Beauty Busters, where we test out internet beauty and products to see if they're a poop, a whoop, or a maybe baby, meaning they may work for some people and they may not work for other people. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see next, and to my surprise, a bunch of you wanted to see face mask videos, which I was like very surprised by, but you know what? It literally came in the perfect moment because I needed this right now. If you guys have been keeping up with my vlog channel, Natalie and Dennis Show, you would know that we are currently moving. Moving is quite stressful. I actually once heard that people would much rather die than move. I'm trying to set good intentions and stuff like that for this move, but it's been a lot. Plus, Hurricane Dorian is on its way. I might not even be able to fly from Florida to California, so we shall see. If I'm stuck here, then this is what I'll be doing, creating my own face mask. And also, comment down below while huh? I put this really corny. What the hell is this? If you're stressed right now, comment down below and let me know. We can literally have a free therapy session down below in the comments, and I might need therapy after putting this on. This is corny. At the end of this video, I'm actually doing a little giveaway for you. All you have to do is just go over to my Instagram, Follow me, make sure that you comment on this picture and then tag two friends and that's it. You can have a little jade roller, this weird unicorn thing, which I actually thought was a lot cooler, and then this holographic peel off mask. All right, so today we are trying out three very strange face masks. Numero uno, this thing right here. I guess this is supposed to be like my face. I swear I had once seen a leg mask for your entire legs. Isn't that crazy? Does that exist? I try to look for it on Korean websites, Chinese website. I couldn't find it anywhere. If you guys know of it, please link it down below. I would love to try that out. I couldn't find it anywhere. This is uh, the automatic facial mask creator machine. Yeah, pretty much we're gonna be creating our own face masks. We are also trying out this really weird Dr. Jart's Firming Lover. Like this is kind of weird. And it's actually one of the best reviewed face masks on the market. Let's test it out, but kind of like creepy. Some people think it's cute. Comment below, what do you think? I think it's kind of creepy. It's like a baby. In pink sauce. And then the very third one we're trying out is this intensive foot mask, which my feet are looking janky. So just be prepared for that. I'll leave timestamps down below to each different face mask. And let's get started. I need my relaxation time. So this is the automatic facial mask machine. It's pretty much a steamer and it's also a mask maker. So I originally saw this on Sophia's channel, which by the way, it was hella pricey. So this is kind of like a dupe for the original. I think I got it for this amount. It wasn't that bad. Not as bad as this, the original. It reminds me of like Wally or something. It's so cute and little. Pretty much it is what it says it is. It's a DIY automatic facial mask maker. It's also a little face steamer and we're DIYing our own face mask. So inside it comes with this little collagen kit that says fruits and veggie gel mask, really cute. Also this little beaker to help us out. So I'm gonna be attaching this to this little end right here. All right, so pretty much we are moving this down to be able to place the face mask right over it. Bam. This is so interesting and so cute. So pretty much what this is known for is you can use anything that you want, any type of juice. You can mix up your own recipes, pineapple, cucumber, whatever you want, honey. Then you can create the face masks using the collagen and also some of the water. So I've actually brought an aloe vera drink. This is the only thing I could find at Walmart because all the water was out. I don't really know how good this is for you. This probably has some ingredients that probably are not that great for your skin, but I already packed everything, so this is the best I could do. Aloe vera is very, very great for your skin. I personally use it before to help me with my acne. I should use it again right now. For this DIY mask, we're gonna do 70 milligrams of water. We're actually gonna open the top of this lid right here. Ooh, this is interesting. There's like a little fan in there. I don't really know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. Water. Okay, and according to the ingredients, you can pour in 25 milligrams of whatever else you want. What? I'm so confused. The picture looks more full than what we added of the water. I'm just gonna go with what the picture says. Forget what they wrote. Whatever, homegirl. Oops, I went up to 100. I'm sure I'll be fine. I never follow instructions, you guys. Just. You should know that by now. Now the final step is to add the collagen. We're gonna be adding one little tablet for fruit and vegetable gel mask. Bam. So it's doing some type of fizziness. Final step, we're just gonna seal this little bad boy up. Oh my God. I think this is gonna be a, a whoop. And now we are going to press the mask button on. maybe doing something. So I think I just have to wait six minutes. And there are also two buttons. One of them is for the mask and the other one is for the steamer. So quite easy to use. While we wait for this, I just wanted to mention that there's two different things that this machine does. Not only does it DIY a little face mask, but it's also a little face steamer. I'm loving this already. In the meantime, I've asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions because I want to do this video where I only say yes or no to uncomfortable questions. So I'm asking you guys on Instagram right now. I'm just gonna review those answers while I wait for this. I'm just kind of curious, like what does it do in those six minutes? When does it come out? 
Oh, something's happening. Oh, I think you have to press it for it to work. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing and if I'm doing this right. I'm just pressing it. In the meantime, while this is working, I'm just gonna put my little cucumbers on my eyes. I've never tried this. I bought these little guys at Forever 21. Put it like that so I can still see what's happening. Kind of feels like tape on my eyes. Wow, that's actually not that great. What is taking so long? Oh my God, something's happening. Okay, it came out. It looks like it's just gonna chill there for some time. Is it a mask already? Oh my God, it smells like Jello. Oh, it smells so good. Let me put my finger in it. Holy cow, it's hot. Okay, so according to this, we're supposed to wait a minute so that it cools off and then we can use our mask. This is so cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is good and ready to go. I'm excited to put it on my face. Oh my God. Okay, cool. So it's kind of like, it's all jello-y. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so, oh my God. And it doesn't break. Oh my God. Oh, it broke. I literally cursed it. Oh. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my God. I was supposed to take, wow, that was all my bad. Whatever, I could just use it like this. There's some math. Oh my God, this is so weird. Okay, mine's actually a little bit slimy. Now what do I do? Do I just relax? It smells delicious. Is this falling apart or is it just me? Oh, okay. It's, oh, okay. That just fell apart. Okay, this is kind of depressing. Literally, it just all fell apart on me. Like maybe it was the aloe vera. So I'm gonna do their recipe because maybe my aloe vera was just already too slimy to begin with. We take two people. I got some wine up in here, pink Moscato. This is probably the only wine that I like. All right, so I'm gonna do what the thing said, which was 70 milligrams. And now I'm gonna do 25 milligrams of this pink Moscato. Oh God, that's a lot more. Okay, there we go. Oh, and it's still spilling out. Are you kidding me right now? What's going on? What the heck? I don't get it. Like, I don't know if there's some type of cover here that is not supposed to be. All right, so this has turned green for some reason. I'm pretty sure that's the little collagen. Why this is still doing this when it's not connected. <sighs> it's wasting my wine. Whatever time this is, I did do something a little bit different. Oh my God, it's fizzing. I'm gonna close this up. All right, I put the little thing in there. I'm gonna close this up. I did do something different. There's this little button that I pressed down. So I think that might have covered it. All right, I'm gonna press the button. It's going. We shall see. Oh, my hair looks crazy. So it seemed like that did fix it. So all you have to do is just make sure that you press down. This lip, my nail just fell off. Wow, I'm a mess. So all you have to do is there's like this little plug that you just have to push down and then it will close it up. It should be stirring for six minutes and then we should be ready to go. All right, you guys, I'm ready to relax. I'm gonna take this out. Oh, I was about to mess up again. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. This is my final result. It doesn't smell as good as the last one. This one. Ugh, I don't like the smell of wine, honestly. It's very thick. Oh my God, this is kind of scary looking. Okay, so it's not a left. So I totally messed up again. So I guess you really are only supposed to put one little tablet because it's not as elasticy. So yeah, there's that. I'm not relaxed. Again, we're gonna do 70 milligrams of water. And then the winning recipe is 25 of whatever else you want. Go up to 95. Oops, I went up to 100. My bad. Now I'm gonna add the tablet. Close it up and let it get to work, honey. Ugh. I'm literally gonna give up on this. I just think because I've done it so many times and used it so much, it's kind of gunky now. It's a complicated product. Final verdict. Honestly, I'm just so tired of doing this. I just wanted to relax. Why it was so complicated. Like it has little edges right here. All right, I'm gonna try it on. I hope it doesn't fall apart. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh, please. Oh, it's falling apart. <laughs> Why did it fall apart again? I'm so tired of this. Honestly, I don't know what I did wrong. Oh my God, this looks 
disastrous. All right, final verdict. I'm gonna say this is a poop for me, but it might be a maybe baby for you guys. Honestly, I'm just disappointed at how difficult it was to do this. The instructions were not as clear as you may think. They're not written really well, and it's hard to clean out. I don't know, I'm just, I was expecting this to be easier, and I'm just kind of bummed at this point, and kind of tipsy. I don't think I would be using this again. I honestly don't think I would like to even clean all of this out and use it again. That's what it looks like. I'm just bummed about it. All right, so the Rubber Mask by Dr. Dart. Now this is a very interesting one. This has four stars on Sephora with almost 10,000 hearts. According to this, it claims to firm your face and also just really remove any type of texture, which is always really nice. I have pretty big pores. So this is a two-step process. And so this is step one. This is the Firming Lover. You're supposed to apply this all over your face. And then this is step two, the Rubber Mask. You're just supposed to apply this on your face right after. So I guess the magic is really in this little guy. I'm really curious what this looks like. I hope it's pink. Oh, it's white. All right, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Literally just pure whiteness. Ooh, it's very jello-y. This smells like vaporu, vapor rub. <laughs> vaporu. I'm saying it in Spanish. Okay, so I'm gonna put this all over my face. Feels very interesting. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, it doesn't look like that at all. Oh, this is nice and rubbery. Ooh, this is weird. All jello-y. Mine is a little wrinkled, okay, so. Oh my God, this feels like plastic surgery. Now I'm gonna apply this one on. And now we wait 30 to 40 minutes. I kinda wanna do an ASMR. So it's been 30 minutes now and my skin feels nice and tight honestly under this so it is time to remove by the way my hair was getting stuck to this love this mask honestly Ooh, do i look tighter i feel more youthful and so you do have some extra serum right here that you can just kind of spread into your skin Ooh, you can also apply that on your neck and your arms as well how do i look uh shiny do i look tighter <laughs> No, I feel like really nice. Does my skin look nice or no? It looks pale. Hey! Okay, whatever. The point is, I do feel like my skin is nice and tight. I personally, I'm gonna buy this mask again. I give it a five. I give it a whoop. I love it. Even though this pimple just popped out of nowhere. Hello, Dennis. Welcome to the channel. How are you, sir? What up, peeps? Haven't been here in a while. I haven't done my toes in a while, right? Yeah. So I've... You never say that. <laughs> so I figured, could we use your feet for this next no. one? Why? No. You have cute toes. No, thank this you. This is a soft, cool, intensive foot mask. Really? Yes. I'm not up for it. Please. No. Thank to, you. To moisturize dry skin and soften hard calluses. Look, oh, it's just a soft. That's all it is. Wait, is this just one? Oh, that's not too bad at all. Get out of here. I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Oh, it smells really nice. Like wintry and minty. Okay, so here are for the two feet. Okay, so this is not bad at all. So the first step is to wash your feet with warm and water and then dry them. I'm gonna skip that step. I'm too lazy. Open the package gently. Leave on for a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes and that is pretty much it. You're supposed to tear it like so and then I'm literally just gonna stick this in my feet. It kind of looks like a makeup removing wipe. It's a lot of oil. It smells really, really nice. All right, here we go. Foot number one. Wow, my feet are red. Oh, that does not feel very cool. Next foot. Bam! So that's what it's supposed to look like. I'm guessing you can tighten it here. No, that's pretty much it. And then we just wait 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, and make sure that you wear socks. You don't want to fall. My feet are burning. Okay, you really have to show me back. Yes. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm really not sure how I'm going to show you how my feet look now. Just because I'm a little insecure when I don't have my toes done, but I did want Dennis to feel my feet and tell me how they are. It feels really you fine You need to here. show them. Oh. They're ugly right now. Well, how will they know what it feels like? Okay, well, ew, that's so ugly. They don't look good. Okay, I'm removing this. Remove one. Hello? There's sacks of plastic. Hurry. <laughs> I mean, it's softer, but like, I honestly feel like a pedicure is a lot better. Personally, I'm just not a big fan of like these little feet things. I'm gonna say this is like a poop, honestly. I didn't really love it that much. It's kind of weird. It made my hot feet 
I'd rather get a manicure. Honestly, my feet are kind of burning. I don't know why. So to remind you guys of the giveaway, I'm currently giving away these lovely goodies. If you want to check it out, head on over to my Instagram, go and tag three friends and follow me. And that's it. I'll pretty much announce it on my Instagram stories in one week's time. Also, I'm doing a bunch of vlog channels just like of us moving right now and all the behind the scenes and craziness. So that should be, that's coming up. It's crazy. Right now we're just stuck here because of Hurricane Dorian. So wish us well. I hope that this video goes up. If it did, we are alive and well and thriving. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. If you like videos like this, let me know down below. If not, honestly, just give me some ideas. I've been a little bit stuck creatively. I think it's been because of the mood, just on like what exactly to do. What are you packing there? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and as always, don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye. All right, you guys, and now for the Natalie's Outlet School giveaway. This was a giveaway that I wanted to gift you guys a while back, and now it is time for the giveaway winner. Drum roll, please. So you will be winning an amazing headphone set and also an iPad. So the winner is jenna.row at outlook.com. Congratulations, and thank you so much to everyone that entered. There will be more giveaways coming, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.